Greetings. I'm Steve Cook. I'm here with your summary for your December 12th uh, regular school board meeting um, for the Ben Lapine School Board. We started at 5.30 and we finished up at 7.50. Uh, we had a lot on the agenda tonight. We started off with celebrating our champion of students for this month, Sandy Schmidt. Sandy is our McKinney-Vento liaison and does a lot of great work on supporting and helping our homeless students and houseless students and finding ways to keep them connected to their educational process. So it was our excited privilege to be able to celebrate the great work she's done in this district for many, many years. Um, after that, we had the student advisory report um, from Gabe Miller from Ben Tech Academy and Bella Kalfas from Bend High. And uh, student advisory just doing a really great job of making their voices known, giving that feedback to the board, giving feedback to the administration and sharing what are priorities and needs to them. And uh, talked a little bit about our cell phone policy and just doing a really nice job of talking about next steps is it's time to start recruiting more people for that committee. So look for information in the schools. Uh, if you're interested in, from our seven high schools, if you're interested to be a part of that committee, we're gonna start recruiting for next year uh, in February. After that, we had six public commenters. The first one was Carrie Hornsby. She wanted to talk about TAG in the district and how we should be doing better. Uh, the second one was Becky Boyd talking about uh, the district's responsibilities on how we're handling e-bikes, especially at our middle schools. Third public commenter was Maggie O'Sullivan, who's a student at Bend High who is part of the Green Leadership Coalition, wanting to talk about our responsibility as a community uh, to be active participants in, in uh, uh, protecting the community from climate change. And uh, number four was Will Mowry, also from Bend High, part of the Green Leadership Coalition, um, who brought particular attention to idle, idling at schools when we're having student drop-offs and whether or not we can get signs at more of our schools. Um, uh, our fifth one was Dr. Ann Onishi, who uh, also had, uh, uh, she's a part of the St. Charles Trauma Surgeon Team, uh, an emergency room uh, team, um, who wanted to bring special attention to the importance of how we're going to manage e-bike education and uh, protect our students from TBI and traumatic brain injury. Uh, and our last public commenter was Amanda Plosky who wanted to uh, promote that we should allow students to shadow other students when they're considering what schools to go to. Um, consent for action went through uh, approved by all board members. And then we started in on our reports. And our first report was our finance report from uh, our CFO, COO, Brad Henry. Um, he reported that first thing, that was great news. We got our audit returned back. It was a clean opinion with no findings, which is fantastic. And then second thing he reported uh, was that our second quarter financials were the same as our first quarter financials. And so Brad took a little bit of the time that it would normally take to do the financial report to go through um, kind of our uh, reserves and how the reserves are treated in the district across all accounts, mostly spending time talking about the general fund but also diving into many of the other accounts that are sub-budgets of the general fund. Then uh, uh, Deputy Superintendent Lauren Norquist presented on the student investment account update and just spent a lot of time talking about the three areas we're investing those monies, where it's about $15 million. We invest those in student health and safety, reduction of class sizes, and expanded access for students to access lots of opportunities across the district and how we focus that money particularly mostly on students with high needs. Um, and that presentation uh, was followed by action items. We just had two items today for action. The first was uh, to approve our budget committee vacancies. We had three budget committee members who are up for renewal and the board uh, recommended to reappoint Thomas Barman, Sharon Belushi and Ned Lutz to their pos respective positions. So look for those budget committee members coming back. Um, and then the other uh, action item was the improvement, or excuse me, the board approved the student investment account grant agreement that goes along with the report that was provided by Deputy Superintendent Dr. Lauren Nordquist. And so that was also approved. Um, then we did a little bit of work on our administrative policies. There's three policies out right now that we're getting feedback on. Um, administrative policies for family medical leave and military leave and uh, policies on paid family medical leave and insurance. Uh, oh, check that. One is still getting, uh, we're still getting more feedback. The the religious services is we're still getting feedback. And then my superintendent's report tonight, I wanted to talk about some of the co concerning conversations we're having about e-bikes and the responsibility of the district to potentially step up and do more there. 
I also talked about Senate Bill 819, which is now known as the abbreviated day law, which our uh, district staff are leading into and stepping into conversations to ensure that every student is having access to a full day and how we're processing those as they come through. Just a shout, and my third item was just a shout out for everybody that's involved in bargaining, how, how challenging it's been to get through all the different uh, sets of work that we're doing both with OSEA and BEA. And then last but not least, talking with the governor about funding challenges and, and, and uh, leading the districts through kind of these last a uh, few months on how we're trying to make the budget that was applied for $10.2 billion for all of the educational entities across the state and how we're managing and stepping into that uh, and potentially talking about more financing and, and or about the school finance formula. The board chair report, um, Chair barnes DeLockier reported on bargaining and how that's going and how uh, also how uh, much respect she has for all the people that are participating and getting through that and spoke a little bit about the offer that was made to BEA on Monday the 11th uh, and uh, and then also was a participant in the coastal coastal law conference which was back last week and so just shared a little bit of positive feedback on that experience and that was it we adjourned the meeting at 750 those are your updates for the December board meeting we will see you in January thanks